Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LEW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 100. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to save space in archive log file system. This slide talks about the problem scenario and solution. The problem scenario is we want to demonstrate how to save space in an archive log file system. The solution is to use archive log compression. You can set the DB CFG parameter log arch COMPR1 on. So you can use the DB CFG command, uh, update DB CFG command and do the log arc, uh, set the log arc compression one on. Uh, it's a free feature, so there is no cost associated with it and it is also available in Express C ed Community Edition. Uh, when you implement this feature, obviously there is a little overhead on the CPU for compression of the log files. So you have to balance the, the network time with the CPU processing power. So sometimes when you archive a log file, like what happens in archival is that the file is getting moved from active log directory to the archive log directory, which can even be an external, like a TSM server. So the file needs to get sent over the network. So the time it takes for the network transfer of a huge file, let's say 40 MB file or 50 MB file, <clears throat> so whether we can uh, get some good, uh, uh, we can whether we can transfer the file in a faster way because it gets compressed. So it becomes like I I did my test case when I used the default thing. The 4 MB file was getting converted into roughly 200 KB or 180 190 KB. So which is a very uh, more than 90 percent of compression. So um, hopefully it should so it should it should perform better, but. Uh, obviously, the choices of the CPU, like how much of powerful CPU you have, how much of a network, uh, uh, fast uh, network bandwidth you have, so all those uh, factors come into play. So, uh, I would say, like I would suggest to monitor the start and completed archival time in the DB2 dialog. So, whenever, whenever this DB2 archival is done, so there will be a start time and a completed time logged in the DB2 dialog. So, we can monitor that before and after setting up this uh, archival log compression so uh, that way we can we can be sure like we are getting the good performance benefit out of this or not okay so as usual uh, let me get into a few examples here so here i already have uh, connected to the database dbase and i'll show you the log arch met one parameter so you can see that the archival log uh, location is configured and the compression option is also on and I'm using only Express C edition. Uh, so what I need to do is I just, I just run these three SQLs as of now. Okay. Okay. Committed. Now I can go to the log directory and I will show you the files. Yeah. So you can see that see it is taking roughly four four MB. So this is in this much kilobytes, this much megabytes. So all the log files were like uh, 4 MB, 4 MB, 4 MB. The, the default uh, uh, log file size is 4 MB. You can see that because of the compression, see here. Yeah. Because of the compression, you are seeing that 200 KB, 188 KB, 188, roughly 188, 200, 190 KB we are getting. So for a 4 MB file, 200 KB of compression is almost 90% right i would say yeah more than that but yeah so uh, so that is the tip so use archival log compression uh, if your cpu processing power is good and you are able to save uh, you are able to concretely identify that there is a little bit of performance boost because of that and not even performance boost i mean tremendous amount of storage savings see because your backup strategy will be see once in two days because uh, i don't know how many people implement daily backups because daily backups with a terabyte size database is a is a difficult thing. So if you are once in two days or once in three days backup strategy, your log files will get accumulated in the archive log, which can be like a TSM or another NFS mounted driver like that. So this will definitely help in terms of conserving the space in the archive log file system. Hope this tip was useful to you. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash db 2 Academy. Uh, that's it in this video tutorial. See you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.